Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Storm's being a lazy, uh, the last one done. He always is. He always is. He's an hour to eat food. He gets the most grain. He likes to enjoy his breakfast. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. I brought apple for my girl. I bring her one every single day. An apple well, a day. You give that to my ponies. An apple well, a day. Keep the eat, vet away. They'll eat like this much of it. I oh, know. <laughs> That's one of their bites each. Yeah, so anyways, welcome to today's video. We have some stuff to do on the farm today, some stuff I want to show you that I've been getting questions about. Could you explain to the people about the outside hose? The faucet out there, do you need to winterize it? Let's go look at it. Let's show us. All right, you let Stormy Boy out. All right, so he's gonna show us. Stormy Boy's getting out. Oh, I saw that on there. This is the example. So the water hose is hooked up all the way at the bottom of this pole. See how underground it is? Did you change it? No. This is just extra. So when you turn on the water, it lifts up this big rod that all the way down there that turns on the hose. When you lift this up, it, turn, it pulls this rod, pulls a little rod here. It goes all the way down and turns on the water. When you turn this off, all the water runs down and drains. So, so it's a frost easy. freeze. So this one, this won't freeze because it's underground. So it's underground, so but we have this to. This will freeze, right? So we have to get. Uh, uh, they have heated hoses that you can buy. So that's plug in. So I'll have to change this hose. Yeah, but so this won't freeze. This will freeze. I mean, technically, we don't even need a hose. We could just carry buckets, right? Or carry buckets, yeah. Yeah. That, we won't do that. Sophie's like, we need a hose. <laughs> when are you going to close off all the fields, grass fields? Um, I'm going to when I see them. Most of them are closed, but. So it'll be soon. You're going to see yeah, them very soon. Very soon, they'll be closed. So he's going to put some winter seed down. What color is it? Milkas. Give it to me. It I'm going to pink. I'm going to put it back on her. She takes That's them what off. I found. In I'm going to put it back on her. Yeah, it's milkas. Sam found all this stuff in the field. The so boot. Storm's bell boot. We need to put that on him. It was better than the red one. This is one that I picked. Yeah, come and let's go put it on him. It's sunny and bright on the day by day fire. Also very cold. Gracie, what are you doing over here? Are they being mean to you? Do you want me to leave hay over here for you? Penny! <laughs> Wait, don't call her over oh, yet. She's gonna roll. Yeah, I know. I never get to see her roll. I mean, I have, but. <laughs> she's like, what, Laura? <laughs> All right, close her. All right, hold on. Gracie's after my apple. <laughs> Gracie, I'll bring you an apple. But this one's for Penny. She's like, you really interrupted my morning roll. Wait, we'll share, Gracie. Oh. Take a small bite. Good. See? We can share. We're sharing girls. Good girls. Let her have a bite. There you go. Almost time to get a new hay bale. Hey, you should hold him. Storm. Look at why. Oh my goodness. Ow. <laughs> Dude. We're a mess. This is what this is where we separate. Everybody stay here. Penny's still thinking about rolling. <laughs> Ooh, it's cold, you guys. Anyway, lots to do on the farm today. Did you guys know I hate weekends? Most people love weekends. I've hated them all my life, and this is why. So I am a busy person and I like to be busy. I have a really hard time relaxing. And on weekends, it's like the whole world kind of wants to relax. And it's like my nemesis. Relaxing and resting is the thing I hate most. And for two straight days is even harder for me. So I'm glad it's Monday, routine, and back to work. Um, Sophie told me that I should start emptying our pool at night so when I come down in the morning all I have to do is fill it and I love that idea it's been working out so good for us I literally just remembered that last night in the middle of the night I heard some sounds and it sounded like my goose I was freaking out and I woke Sam up and I said Sam Sam something's attacking my goose and he said Laura it's coyotes and I said coyotes are attacking my goose and he said no you're just hearing coyotes Ellie get over here 
get over here come on so anyways it took me a while to go back to bed and I really wanted to come down and check on them but so now I'm nervous oh he's good <laughs> it was coyotes I was so worried about you last night. Go ahead, out you go. So uh, this is their new house that Sam built. And I check every day to see if they've been sleeping in there. It's cold enough today, you think they would be. And every day I see more and more feathers in there. I see white ones and I see gray ones. So I'm pretty sure they're utilizing this. And then I see like all their poop and stuff concentrated to right outside the door. So I'm assuming that they're using it. Go ahead. Out you go. It's cold and I'm getting your water ready. So go out there and have a couple of snacks and I'll get your pool. Closing off the field. So that they don't get ruined in winter. Is also going to mean that our goats are confined to a certain area. So our goats will be locked in to just this small area they'll have this area and then once the buck leaves which should be within the next month or so um, he will they will also have that area we will keep the buck until we make sure that both of our does are pregnant you never can tell even if they've been bred that they are pregnant for sure so the only way you can tell if your doe is pregnant is from an ultrasound or if they fail to come into heat the next cycle so that's what we're going to do we're going to wait and see if they come into heat again in november and if they don't we're going to go ahead and um ship out the buck and have more space for our girls Sophie comes in every single day asking the exact same question. What's your question, Sophie? Any mice. Any mice. So the cat sometimes the cat sometimes catches mice and leaves the babies behind. And then so it was one time. It was two times because one time we found one baby and then later in the day we found another baby. No. Look at her. She's like, mice, where are they? Just let me at them. Do you want mice? Remember at the old house when a bird flew into my head? It gave me a headache. Yeah. So I'm going to call the doctor today and see if we can figure out something about Sophie's headache. But did you know, so, so Sophie comes every single morning looking for mice. But did you know that some viewers said that they, their kids got ear piercings, like a pierced ear, that, <laughs> that actually stops them from having headaches. Good thing I got your ears pierced when you were a baby, huh? I was talking to Brooklyn and Jacob yesterday. It was Jacob's birthday, not yesterday the day before. I was talking to Brooklyn about how she's like a nervous person. She's nervous. She's not a nervous person. She's not a daredevil. I shouldn't even say they're not, they're nervous people. We're not nervous people. We're not daredevils. We're just, we're, we were born with this gene for self-preservation and we're not daredevils and there's nothing wrong with that. And I was telling Brooklyn yesterday because she's not a daredevil. And I was saying like, you get it from my side. It's in my genes. Half of my family are daredevils and half of them are not. So Sophie not wanting to like have somebody jam something in her ear, I understand. Since we're talking about water, I wanted to also tell you guys that this is how the water in the in my barn is going to work. Um, again, we'll need another hose because the goat and the, the duck and the goose will need water <laughs> all winter long. The, po the pipe in here is insulated all the way down and across. And then over here, it plugs in. So it plugs in and then it goes all the way over here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so here it is. So this is cord and it will plug it in and it will help keep it warm. So the very first day that I came down and saw that door open, it was you? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, Sophie is a pranking ghost. No, I wasn't trying to prank. See that door? Remember I told you one day we thought there was a ghost because that door, it gets locked. It was wide open like that. <laughs> and it's wide open now. Why Why do you keep opening that door? Because mice can hide there. Like I opened the, the stall doors. She's on the hunt for baby mice. My favorite stall to clean every day is the goat and the duck stall. So the reason I like cleaning it is because I can use the hay pitchfork 
and just scoop up all the areas where they go to the bathroom. It's a lot easier than everything else. You just, it just scoops up so easy. I wanna try and make this super comfy for them. I put a lot of straw in here. I even tried to make like a little area over there that they could climb up in. So the reason I like straw for winter, what are you doing? Well, close that up and get no. away from it. Because if it's a mouse, then it can come to me. Pray and ask God to send you another mouse. The reason that I like straw is because it's the most insulating out of all the bedding that we have. And I told you guys before, I worry about our animals being cold. I even worry about Laura being cold. <laughs> because I hate the cold. So uh, inside the farmhouse, Sylphie's crawfish, it's time for her to clean it. They run out of water. She changes it every few days. Every when they, two days. Every two days when they start to run out of water, but they're doing so well. So she's just cleaning the tank now. Her tank is my bowl, so we need to get rectify that and get her a tank. Now that I saw that she's doing really well with them, she's taking good care of them and they're growing, I need to get her a tank. I'll show you one in just a sec. So she cleans the rocks, she cleans everything in soapy water, and then she transfers them into a clean sink. I've never even seen her do this. Let's see, show them. He's a big guy now. Yeah. So they're growing. And Sophie actually wants to go, wow, that one's big. Sophie actually wants to go back to the place where she got them and get more. She's in love with them. I do not know why. Crayfish is what they're called in Canada. Oh, and that's the baby. So I knew that they'd be okay inside and living in her tank because my sister used to catch them and she used to keep them. She never ever would let them go. She always kept them for a long time and they grew really huge. So it's definitely time for Sophie to get a bigger tank. They're outgrowing that little bowl. That is disgusting. I always check to see if they have eggs and they don't. Yeah, she wants babies <laughs> for yeah. baby hungry people. So before we did YouTube and before you guys knew us and before we got horses, I was like a baby person. I love babies, I love kids. It was honestly my specialty. And then we got horses and I transferred all my love to them. Ruby, stop stalking the kitty. She is honestly obsessed and Molly was sitting on this bed today so Molly actually likes it, the cat likes it. Ellie and the cat have become friends. Ellie, Ruby used to chase cats so badly, like to the point where the cats couldn't even like be in the house. Now that she's older, she's actually doing so much better. She doesn't chase the cat. She is the one that's most interested in the cat. But Ellie only has eyes for Ruby. Did you guys know that? Ellie and Ruby are best friends. They're the, they're the ones that are like, they're my dogs. They both have similar temperaments. If I go to bed, they go to bed. Wherever I go, they follow me everywhere and they are best friends. It's amazing how watching the, our animals really shows you like, Ellie and Ruby have similar personalities. They're light, easygoing, kind, relaxed kind of animals, dogs, and they're best friends. Ellie's best friend to play with and chase and bite and wrestle with is Daisy. And then Molly is kind of just does her own thing. Actually, Molly does her own thing. Molly literally is not super close with any of our dogs. She is She's good with all of our dogs and she's always licking Daisy. Daisy's probably her closest friend because they were we bought them at the same in the same kind of time they grew up together. But she's a standoffish dog, just like Penny is a standoffish horse. And she's more of a loner and she does her own thing and she's more about all about Gabby. So these are Sophie's dog treats that she made, made recently. What do you have going on now? So I cleaned her. So this is it. This is her This is her new setup. She does this every two days. And they are super happy. And what happens when you feed them? When I feed them? Okay, here. I'm going to this plant because that's probably where I feed them. Do they come running? Well, in the morning they do. Oh, there's a little guy coming. Because it smells like fish. Oh, so he's backing do. up. Yeah. Yeah, it reeks actually, the food. Yeah, this smells like fish. Well, that guy's waking up over there. He's like, oh, I smell it. Oh, that guy's eating. See him right there underneath there? He takes a piece and then runs back to his rock. See? Oh, there he is. Look. Do you see it? He's moving the rock. Look. He's making it his home. 
Anyway, it's for sure. These guys need a new habitat if they're gonna live through the winter here. It is freezing cold, holy moly. It's supposed to be 15 degrees, which is like 59 degrees or something in Fahrenheit. And that's not that cold, but it's cold today. Anyway, we're headed out to do some birthday shopping for Sophie. Before we get there, I wanted to tell you guys how I buy presents for my older kids. Once they get past the age where I know what they like and I can just go out and buy it, I want them to have what they like and what they want. Me buying things that I'm trying to guess at never works out. So I often take them with me and say, hey, pick what you want. And then I buy it and I keep it and I give it to them on their birthday. And that's what today is all about. Today we're gonna go. I told Sophie what I'm going to buy her, but I'm gonna let her pick what she likes. So, oh, also before I forget, we are still horse shopping. We're still at the stage where we're trying to find the perfect horse. For both girls but I found a couple of contenders for Gabby they're a little bit out of my price range um, and they're far away if they were closer and they were a little bit out of my price range I think we'd still go look at them but having to drive so many hours to go see them definitely not what we want to be doing